Hey, what's up guys? It's I Like Fry and welcome to Season 1, Episode 5 of my Space Engineers Let's Play series. Now, first of all, what should I get started with? <laughs> well, uh, in the intervening ep time between the two episodes, I did a bit of work on the military mine layer using parts that I was getting off the military transport. Uh, when I was merging it, I didn't want the engines burning each other off, so I decided to put it onto the um, military mine layer. Just so I had something that didn't fly around uh, like a... Well, I was thinking about describing it as a snail. And uh, without the extra engines, it pretty much is a snail. Especially when you got so many heavy armor blocks and carrying the, um, carrying the load of mines. So I took a, I've, as you can see, I've done a bit of work to it. I do intend to make it a little bit of a tug. So I've put engines on the back and I will be pulling out this section so I can move this engine forward and put two more large thrusters on each side. So one large thruster here on the left and one large thruster here on the right. That way you've got equals, <laughs> equal stopping speed. Then, um, We'll need new engine, uh, new reactors, so I might find a new place to put it or strip out a bit more of the uh, interior to put the engines in because these large engines, they eat a lot of power. Now secondly, I captured a third military transporter and that was pretty easy. I didn't really want to record anything about it and uh, come up with a decision. Anything that I use, anything that I capture, is just going onto other captured ships. Anything that I want to use to upgrade the mining station, I will mine that myself. I just find that, you know, it, it keeps things nice and separate. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a asteroid that's a few kilometers away and build a salvage yard. I've already, ha I've already got a design for it, and I think you guys will like it. So, um, next on the list, I've figured out how to do time lapses. This is going to be my first episode using them. So this episode may be a little bit of dry. It's more of an experiment because I really don't like the way that the, the military transport is connected. I really don't like it. I mean, I am going to cut out that entire interior section and uh, merge it back together. Uh, sorry, merge it again. <laughs> yeah. I am going to merge it again, much closer, then after that, uh, probably in the episode after, yeah, definitely in the episode after that, I am going to clean up the top, uh, the bottom of, is this the top or the bottom? Hmm. I never really considered which side's the top. Oh, wait, yeah, that side is up, so I'm going to connect the top of that military transport and stick it right in between. That way you got three military transporters with a lot of engines just flying around. And I think it'll be fun. It, it'll be different. Anything, like I said, anything I'm going to use for spaceships, I'm going to use for spaceships. Now, first of all, I'm going to cut this thing in half. And I'm going to get back to you in a second. And hopefully this time lapse works well because it's going to be my first.
and welcome back guys I hope you enjoyed the snippets of uh, me cutting the ship uh, apart uh, it did take a very long time so if, I, if anybody else is gonna do this I recommend you build a grinding ship well before you do it but otherwise it's all split apart I got the merge blocks right above the uh, yeah, just right above the doorways I'm not sure why they don't appear to be on but hopefully I could just uh, push these two ships together and uh, it'll work. So come into the menu, control panel, and let me, hmm. Now I still have not removed the, uh, the trap, so <laughs> hopefully uh, these small thrusters stayed off. Merge block, yep, merge block is on. And let's give ourselves a little bit of a push. And oops, I almost forgot to show you the uh, how these ships actually work. But hopefully, you can see a little bit there of the uh, of the ramps going up onto the next level. And uh, I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, forgot to turn up. I had the international balcony. I just want to do this nice and slow just because there will be a lot of damage that happens because of this so event I'll fix it up eventually but yeah. and, oh, and there we go our military our <laughs> military transports are merged again and I must admit that does look a whole lot nicer it right now it will probably look even better once I clean it up and I think there's room for a third engine right in between there nice now one other thing that I did while I was uh, cutting these ships together I'm not sure if I did it onto this specific side but hopefully I did nope I'll have to go over to the other ship Ooh, a lot of damage where is that cargo container? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, just give me two seconds while I find it. Ah, here it is. Now, how do I get back behind there? Ah. Here we go. Yeah, on the front of the ship, I did cut a little bit of a hole. That way I could put conveyors in between each side of the ship, but I'm not going to do that now. Ooh, that is a lot of damage that's going to be, that's going to need to be fixed. Um, whew. Oh, that's an engine, nice. So yeah, I think that's where the third engine's going to be. Huh. Oh, that must be the front engine. Uh, these ships are ma <laughs> they're a maze. Hopefully I can find where the uh, rear engine is going to be. Probably behind this nuclear reactor over here. Hmm. I wonder what's behind there. Oh, nothing weird. I would have sworn they would have hidden something behind those blocks. Oh, well maybe it's just a th aesthetics. Yep, more light armor blocks. Ah goes right into here. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not going to clean that up this episode. I'll probably do it in uh, the intervening epi time between episodes, but why don't I see what I can do with that other military transport? I mean, I'll just bring it in close. I won't... Ah, derp. I won't, uh... I won't do... I won't try merging it in this episode. That seems... 
like a little counterproductive and even with a three time um, welding speed um, uh, welding and grinding speed increase that did take a very long time and actually before I forget let's see what we actually collected hmm. now that's 5,000 steel plates on one side and if I believe on the other side was about okay an extra thousand plus that plus that looking at about anywhere up to 20 17 18 19 just about 24,000 steel plates out of that little segment alone well that would be all of this over here I think yep right, so right about here on two ships that's 24,000 steel plates oh man but uh, given that's mostly exterior and once you start getting closer to the inside it's more along the lines of a uh, hmm. it's more uh, interior plates than anything else this thing probably produces anywhere from 50 to 100,000 steel plates at least in a, gr in a grinder setup probably double that considering the how big the top is top and bottom front engines that's 960 960 and thruster components plus five six seven eight nine ten yeah probably a couple thousand worth of thruster components landing gear interior plates which gives you a lot of construction components and those things take ages to build so A lot of resources, just going to build yourself a grinder setup. Now, there were a few ships that came by in the intervening time, however, I did not feel like capturing them. I mean, three military transports, a uh, mining hauler, and a private sail, I mean, it is just absolutely ridiculous. I sh really should take off the the guns and the thrusters before I do this. Don't really want to burn anything. Uh, I did take out the. Uh, actually, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, where the I haven't found all the warheads, but I did find where the. Yeah, I did find where the where the bomb is placed, the one that actually sets sets it off. Really, I uh, it's it's heavy armor, so I really shouldn't be doing any damage. Um, it almost looks like these. It was designed to fit like this. Uh, Maybe a little bit of damage. Okay. Yeah, screw that tart. Hmm. And did I turn off? Oh, <laughs> must have forgotten to turn off the inertial dampeners on the other ship. Uh, turn them on again. Did I? Um, maybe something's missing. But for the few seconds while I had it there, it did look pretty good. Yep, that's drifting away. Uh, hopefully I could catch it. Hmm. I might do some work do some work in creative, see how this could actually merge together. That way I have a proper idea of the best way to do this for the next inter couple of episodes. I probably won't work on this ship uh, next episode, probably come up with something different. Yep, inertial dampeners were off. Uh-oh. What did I do? No, 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 no! What did I press? What did I press? What did I press? 
Why are the reactors off? Reactor. What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Uh, I could have Did I blow up a reactor? It's weird. Okay, what what just happened? Where's that reactor room? No. I How's this out of uranium? Huh. Oh. Wait. Hmm. Ooh, that does not look good. Now both reactors are here. Wow. Must have just run out of uranium. It's interesting. Uh, and I punch a big hole in the ship. Not good. <laughs> hmm. Wow, I did absolutely did not expect that to happen. How much uranium is in this ship? Huh. Not much either. Yeah, they really don't put much stuff in here. Now let's see if I can remember where that reactor room is, Ken. Wait, front of the ship. Oh yeah, I cut a hole in this thing. Okay. I am lost. Ah yes. If you want to figure, if you want to find the bomb, come in here, drill out, and then grind your way through, just in the front of this large cargo container, and there's your bomb. Easy way to disable it, you can turn on all your engines again, Almost like making pie. Ah. Uh. Uh, these things must chew the chew on the uranium. Uh, let's see how much it actually uses. Might just have to go raid another ship for it. Uh, mining hall, transport, station. Ah, uh, there we go, private sale. You got solar panels, you don't need any uranium. You get energy from the sun. That was absolutely the worst timing, though. 
I mean, I never knew they could eat through so much uranium. That is absolutely insane. So, I guess that these don't make very good ships to uh, just cart around and use if you if they munch through that much. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll turn off the gravity generators. Uh, cargo container. Cargo. Although it is using a large reactor, if I put it into one of the small reactors, I might have better luck. Although, I'll just try this. Oh yes. Twenty-three hours. How much more cluster? I've definitely got to capture another one and see how much uranium is stored in this thing. That was really weird. Although, it looks like everything is... How did I lose a gravity gen uh, a gyroscope? Hmm. Oh. Well, I'm going to take a pause here for a second, guys, and I'll just and see how long my recording is, and I'll get back to you when I... Yeah, I'll just get back to you in a second. Yeah, so that last segment was about 16 minutes, um, not counting the time lapses or the uh, introduction. So I think I might just call it a little bit of a short episode here. This episode is more along the lines of testing time lapses. We got to see a bit of damage and uh, actually what I'm saying, that was quite a lot of damage. I did, a, yeah, I took out quite a few parts of both ships, as you can see with the... Uh, all the gyroscopes floating around in the back. I have no idea which ship they came from, but if I was to assume, it would be this one up over here. Yep, definitely this one over here. Hmm. So, this is I Like Fry. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next episode. Toodles!